Hey guys, today we're making banana spice cake, so let's get started. The materials that you'll need are a banana, a knife, three tablespoons of almond milk, a whole egg, 10 tablespoons of sugar, and 11 tablespoons of flour. You'll also need half a teaspoon of cardamom and half a teaspoon of cinnamon, which I don't have displayed over here, but it is off to the side. You'll also need a whisk, a spatula, two mixing bowls. Here I have one, but there's another stainless steel one over there. Beaters, a blender, and a sifter. So let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is separate your egg from the yolk to the white over into your other little mixing bowl. Once you've got your eggs nice and separated from your white to your yolk, I forgot that word for a minute, then you want to let that set off to the side while we get started on to our next proportion. Now for this part, you want to use a blender. You can use a blender like I am, like a little mini one. And here I also have some cardamom and some cinnamon, which I have in there. And to that, we're going to add in our banana. Now, if you're young, don't try to attempt doing what I am doing right now, which is cutting in my hand. Don't try doing this if you're a young person. Have a parent guide you or have parent help you while you're doing this. Then you just want to cut up your banana and put it into your little blender. And if you notice, we aren't using any oil or any type of butter substance in this recipe. That is because the bananas will give us enough moisture and the milk will make it nice. And to this, you want to add in your sugar. Now leave about one to two tablespoons of sugar behind for whipping that and then after you get it all nice and poured in and you're, you don't have anything left behind, just go ahead and a little whiskey whiskey. You might have a few chunks of banana, but that's okay. If you're a very picky person and you don't like any type of chunks or lumps, then you can puree it completely. But uh, yes. Okay. So we we'll move that off to the side. Now to this, we're going to add in our flour. And we aren't using any leveling agent because we are actually using the egg white, the whipped egg white as a leveling agent. We aren't using any type of baking powder, baking soda, nothing like that. Small amounts of egg white to it. Now this isn't stiff um, peak, so it might look a bit loose, but that is completely normal. Now if you're wondering about the video management today, today's video is actually made on my phone. So the video quality might not be quite as nice. Got a nice little all folded up like so, you want to bake this at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean or if you don't have a toothpick at home, then you can take a dry piece of spaghetti, stick it into the center, if it comes out clean, you know your batter or your cake at that point. So once your cake is done baking, this is how it will look. If you ever recreate this at home, don't forget to send us a picture on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos, subscribe to our channel. But other than that, see you next week. Goodbye.